What's up everyone? This is Mr. MTT, Motive the Traveler once again. I'm on the road and today I want us to tour my um, pipeline estate. This is one of the most controversial estate we have right here in Nairobi city. Because it uh, one, thing, uh, one thing that it is mostly referred as uh, concrete SRAM. Uh, this is because of the high apartment with a lot of people or it is a very highly populated. We'll get into that data later in this video. But right now we are entering uh, we are entering uh, this pipeline estate on the road I am is the outer ring road coming from uh, Cabana's area. So let's start our video. Pipeline is one place that is very congested, highly populated, and also very squeezed. Uh, it is one of uh, the most populated estate we have right here in Nairobi, because the approximate, uh, according to 2019 Celsius, uh, it is almost 200,000 uh, residents living in this area. And it's not very large. It's no, it's just a small portion of land in East Trans Nairobi. Pipeline is considered like one of the most uh, uh, congested concrete uh, surround because most of the building here are built next to each other. They are, are very squeezed even uh, there is no uh, sp spaces for you know for children praying and all that. Even the load you can see the building are built uh, are being built uh, almost at the uh, at the load. Yeah, this is how the place looks like. It's very congested, and today being it, uh, being on a Sunday if, uh, afternoon, uh, there is even too much activities going on. Since even the ch uh, the children are home, uh, you can see them praying around the Lord. Uh, yeah, this is very chaotic area to visit. Today I decided to come here. It's my first time here. I have never been here. I have come today to check out this place, uh, and even I got lost inside this room by the way uh, i got lost but uh, with google map you know nowadays when you get us get into your phone go to google map and search your location to another so i used google map and i came out of this room because uh, this room is full of chaos is a chaotic estate yeah guys so let's continue exploring this is mr mtt motive the traveler This estate is located around 9.5 kilometers from Nairobi CBD and it makes it one of the most ideal places for people working around CBD to live because uh, the means of transport here are very easy. You can use uh, Jogo Road or the Outering Road. Also, you can connect up to Mombasa Road and it makes uh, a very easy uh, a very easy exp uh, access time to CBD. So that's why maybe a lot of people do stay in this place and as usual once there are a lot of people I can see there is a lot of business driving. You can see you can't go to footstep without finding a shop, an uh, electronic shop or a gas point. You can see allowed even a kibanda you know uh, you can't go a distance without seeing those. So this means this place uh, business are booming. Yeah. Well, let's continue uh, exploring this place. You can see how those plots or apartments lining up, you know. Even I'm surprised how this, the constructors here think of. Because uh, these uh, houses or these apartments, Zimeshikana, Kushikana, there isn't a space left. Eh? The only place left is where maybe uh, the owner of the plot or the 
of the land is maybe uh, developing the land into an, for another use or something else but the rest imeshikana kushikana let's continue guys this is mr empty timothy the traveler subscribe if you haven't kindly give the video a like also comment something let me know what you think about uh pipeline estate in nairobi city the most densely populated estate we have right here Recently, the road here have been improved and uh, is not like uh, around a year ago. I saw another video that was done by Citizen TV, that is a television we have right here in Kenya, and it shows how this place, uh, these roads uh, were looking like. There were garbage, a uh, lot of garbage, a lot of sewer directed uh, to the road. They were even uh, you can't pass here but right now i can see most of the road in this area that i'm um, uh, i have visited today most of them has been uh, well built not uh, not well built but at least they are well constructed there isn't a lot of mud a lot of garbage though there is garbage still you know i see whenever there is a lot of uh, a lot of people in one place or a high population in one area obviously expect some garbage some uh, yeah there is pollution here and there but at least right now the place is it but the road condition here isn't bad as i see uh, as you will you will going to see in this video another thing that i noted is in this evening that i passed here there were a lot of people in some roads. Uh, even when cycling, uh, you you don't have even space to cycle. You will you will keep on uh, pushing some people uh, on the side. But at least this place isn't that bad as I was expecting.
Okay. 